Hello everyone, so welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because we are doing the complexion in this video. Eyes will be in a separate video because it's a separate brand, separate holiday thing. Um, this video is going to be the actual complexion, getting that glowy kind of Charlotte Tilbury vibe going. I finally got the airbrush flawless foundation i've been wanting to try this i have been curious about this for so long and also the magic away concealer so i ordered those they finally came in and i'm going to be trying them and giving you my thoughts really have enjoyed the brand the things that i've tried so far have not let me down so i'm going to talk you through foundation concealer we'll do the color corrector for the under eyes together we'll do bronzer and then towards the end of the video i will talk you through the rest of the products that i'm wearing to complete the entire look but let's go ahead and get into the foundation routine i'm so excited <laughs> i don't have a charlotte tilbury primer so what i'm going to do is mix a few that i currently own i'm going to start with the stila one step correct because i have some redness some breakouts i used i don't know if it's a skincare product or some sort of makeup product that um, caused me to get little breakouts kind of in this region here. So I want to kind of color correct that a little bit if I can. And then I'm going to go in with the Milani Soft Focus Glow. This is the complexion enhancer. This is a glowy primer kind of product that gives that pretty glow that I think could kind of somewhat substitute for the Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is that kind of glowy product, or the Wonder Glow Primer, which I do want to try both of those, but I just decided to stick with the foundation and concealer um, for my order. So I'm going to start with the Stila Primer, and I'm going to blend this in, taking a little bit of the Milani and going over the top of the Stila Primer. And I'm going to use a beauty sponge that's been slightly dampened with water to apply the foundation and see how that works for me. I'll take some over my eyelids as well. I got the shade 2 Neutral. I'm not sure if that's the right shade. I was going between 2 Neutral and I think 3 is Neutral as well. So we'll see. I have a bronzer from her that we can use if I need it. And then I also have been wanting to try the Magic Away Concealer. This is the liquid concealer, and I got this in the shade 3 Fair, and I am super pumped, and I like the clear window so I can actually see the product as it's being used so I know when to stock up. So I know when that window looks empty, it's time. So I have high hopes for this and the foundation. I also have talked about this product from Charlotte before. It's the color corrector for the under eye area, and I'm going to use that today. But I'm going to start... I think with the foundation and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, <laughs> that the shade that I chose is the right shade. So I'm going to go in for it, just a few dots, and I'm going to see how airbrushed and flawless this is going to make me because I can use, I can use some help in that department. <laughs> I have so many things going on and the thing is that when you test so many new products it's kind of hard to figure out which one is the one that's giving you the issue. So I think it's a little light. In the mirror it looks fine but I think in the viewfinder it's coming off a little lighter than I thought. So it's okay. So I'm going for a kind of dewy complexion today. One good pump, that very first pump, I feel like you get quite a bit of product. So I think one good pump is what I would use in the future, but it blended out quite nicely. It covered up most of my redness and some um, discoloration that I have, previous breakouts. Um, I have a little one here, but um, I'm not super concerned about that tiny one. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the corrector. You guys know how much I love this. If you've watched my videos, you just know this is, it's good. And I have it in the shade One Fair. And it's that perfect peachy color correcting tone that you need for canceling out discoloration. So I use a little bit and I kind of dab it like so. 
I've used my fingers before, I've used a brush, I mean, sponge, anything really works. It's such a good formula and blends in very, very nicely. Concealer time. <laughs> I am going to kind of twist this up until something comes through because I haven't even played with this at all. Okay, I think we've got something showing up there. Comes out like that and I'm going to just apply this. I think this one said neutral, like a warm neutral or is this the neutral shade? I don't remember what it said, but I'm going to just kind of dab it. She uses a lot of brushes for her tutorials, but I'm going to use my sponge because these um, like little applicators, I feel like they're good for applying the product, but not so much for blending, in my opinion, especially when that first twist up, it kind of like oozed out a little bit. I feel like it's just a little too much product. And I'm going to kind of bring that down just a little bit. And I think the color is going to work just fine. But that actually blended out really, really nicely right over the color corrector. And I'm going to take whatever's left on my sponge and just go over my lids to help cover a little bit of the veining that I have on my lids. I do need to do a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I would like to set this a little bit with a very thin translucent setting powder. I think I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil um, translucent powder just to kind of keep with the high-end theme. And then I'm going to come back and we're gonna do some bronzer because I have her Film Star Bronze and Glow. We're gonna do some major highlighting and get that glowy complexion that she is known for. And yeah, I'm excited because I want that kind of fresh, dewy, supermodel glow. Don't, don't we all? <laughs> so I'm going to do the setting powder and my eyeshadow primer and possibly my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I used a little bit of the Hourglass Veil setting powder for under the eyes and I also set my eyeshadow primer. Did my brows and so now we're going to go in to the Film Star Bronze and Glow this is what it looks like. I have the mini size that came out as part of her holiday collection. You can get it on her website and also on Sephora. This is my favorite part because this is when the life starts to come back in to my skin and I can add that color. So I'm going to just go in with the Sculpt shade and follow the hollow like she says. I swear she could sell me anything and I'd buy it. <laughs> if you haven't seen her videos on YouTube or even just on her Instagram page, you should definitely check it out. So definitely pick this up. I do think that this small size, even though it is mini, I will show you. I mean, mine is pretty dirty because I use it pretty regularly. But it's about the size of a credit card, so don't expect it to be super big and large um, as like her full size ones. You probably get much longer use if you use this every day. This little mini probably lasts you a good bit, but um, the full size is obviously more expensive. And I think I saw a set where you could get the full size and one of her brushes. And I don't remember how much that was, maybe like around 75 And I think just the Film Star Bronze and Glow, it's in the $60 range, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I will put that information down in the description box. So now it's time to get that glow on because that is part of the look that I'm going for today. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this here. This is that glow highlight and the letters highlight are starting to rub off because I've been using this so much. So I'm going to load it up and I'm going to go to town because more is more when it comes to highlight, right? <laughs> Take some through my brow bone, tops of the cheekbone, down the nose, tip of the nose, keep it well. Okay, so here is the complexion. I have no blush on just yet. I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury blush. I have the instant look in a palette but it's one from two years ago you can't even get it so I'm just not even going to use it because right now I think it's this the rose like a rose vibe and color scheme for this year's instant look in a palette but 
I've talked about that before and I think it's great. It comes with some eyeshadows, it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, a couple blushes, and the whole palette itself is $75 and it literally is pretty much almost your entire face minus your concealer obviously in your uh, foundation and setting powder but everything for the eyes and bronzer and blush it's in that palette so it's a really good option if you wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury formulas that was my very first Charlotte purchase because I wanted to try as many products from her as possible and that is for me I thought was the best option and I love that but you can't get it so I'm not going to use it but this is what we've got so far just to kind of give you some initial thoughts um, the foundation blended out quite nicely I don't feel like it's accentuating too much any of my dryness which is what I've been having issues with with other foundations in my collection that they just grab onto those areas and they are difficult to work with this kind of actually went on a little bit better than I expected especially because I'm dealing with a lot of dryness so I'm gonna see how my skin looks throughout the day but so far it was pretty good I feel like I didn't even have to go in with any concealer over any spots I mean you can see a little bit like here but Again, I'm not too concerned about that. I feel like I got a pretty good, strong, medium, even like a medium to full coverage. And I feel like if I would have used the brush, I probably could have gotten a fuller coverage than using the sponge. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll meet you back. All right, so I have completed my makeup and I have done my eyes off camera and you will see the tutorial for this look in a separate video, but so far everything is looking quite nice. I did finish my look off with the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal and Barbarella Brown, very creamy, very smooth, very rich, deep brown, almost black color, which I think is really, really nice. And then um, a good two coats of the Pillow Talk Mascara really completed the look and it gave me really thick lashes so I really like that and then for my lip if you're curious I'm wearing the Pillow Talk lip liner with the matching lipstick got these in a set several months back and I think you can still get those online if not you can definitely purchase those individually and I have used the Pillow Talk liner before and it's one of my favorites and I'm <laughs> I've got the little mini size and it's it's starting to shorten a bit. It's one of those your lips but better kind of color. So super excited to finally get back into doing more high-end looks and using the products. I'm really happy about the purchase of the foundation. I am going to have to continue wearing it for the rest of the day to see how this works. The color was a little light. As I said before, I mentioned I used or ordered shade 2 neutral and I feel like it's a little light, but with that bronzer, I feel like it brought everything together. The concealer also blended out quite nicely. Didn't make my under eye look weird or crazy and old and crepey, but I will keep you posted and do like a recap in a future video of these um, complexion products because I've been really wanting to try them. So I, I'm excited. I'm excited to finally have them in my collection and feel very special and luxurious having them. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial for the foundation and the complexion for today. This is today's makeup. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you've tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury products, let me know what you think of the brand. What are your favorite products? If you've tried the foundation, let me know your thoughts. I love hearing back from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Hopefully I can connect with you there. I will catch you in my next video. Take care and I'll see you soon.